Cronquist House is one of the most beloved landmarks of Red Deer. It was built 100 years ago in the summer of 1912 by Emanuel Pedersen Cronquist. He was a Swedish immigrant who'd come to the Red Deer area in the 1890s. The Cronquist family had a lot of tragedy. A lot of the family members died young. And towards the latter years, the house was basically occupied by Elias, uh, the, the youngest son, who lived in it by himself. So you had this huge house uh, with only one person who lived there. Of course, you wouldn't see him around much. There are people that uh, uh, claim that they can hear somebody walking around on the upper floors. A lot of them say, well, that's the, uh, the ghost of Elias uh, walking around because in his entire life, he slept in the same bedroom for the, forever. The swinging door was when I came in one morning and uh, the alarm was on. I opened the door, the alarm was on, and the door behind me was swinging violently. It's a swing door between what they call the butler's pantry and, the, uh, and this dining room. And it was swinging violently. So I stopped and I thought, well, nobody can be in here because the alarm's still on. And uh, I went all around the house, nobody was in here. And then the door stopped swinging. I've heard several people say, and these are reputable people who have been sitting on the, on the pews outside, and this old man comes and sits at the side of them and talks and chats, and then suddenly disappears. He's not there anymore. If we think uh, maybe on a fall night, getting close to Halloween with the fog and all the other things that are happening down here, if one saw something that maybe we couldn't explain, who knows, maybe there is something happening.